Hey guys, Riley here today, and as you can see, I'm in the shop. Um, I got a few things in front of me that y'all can't see right now that I want to go over. Um, so let's go ahead and get into what we're going to be doing um, for this video. So, this is what we have behind this, um, behind the screens, I guess you could say. I've got my C10, and the new C10, my brother just got this the other day. Um, and for this video, I have a review I'm going to do. It's kind of a comparison. So on my truck, <clears throat> which is the blue one, I have stock tires, as you can see. Um, those are the ones from the, the, the black C10. That's why they're black. But they're the same tires and rims as the stock chrome ones on the blue C10. And my brother bought Hyraxes. Um, we're doing a comparison on the the stock tires versus the Hyraxes. So, what we have, if I can get the camera close enough, this tread pattern, um, just rubbing your finger on it is really grippy. Um, it's very, it's a pretty aggressive tire. And it's got these rims on them. These are plastic rims. Um, and I think they are beadlock. If I can show you, um, I get one of those screws. Kind of see. So I think they are beadlock. I don't see any glue. Um, so they should be pretty easy to change into different um, wheels, which my brother does have some coming in. Hopefully soon. Um,. But these wheels work good, um, especially if you're waiting on a set to come in. Uh, I think they're the Jeep. The, yeah, they're the same ones as the Jeep, the machetes, I guess you could call them. I think that's what they are. But um, they do have foams in them. We haven't taken them out. They're pretty good with the foams in them so far. Um... Some people might think these are expensive. I think they're about $26, and it comes with the rims. I do. They're definitely worth it over the stock tire. Um, this is the first stock or overstock tire, so first upgraded tire that I've had um, on any of these rigs. So stock tires and stock tires, I have all the rigs right here. Um, so these are the first upgraded tires out of all three rigs. I'm hoping to get some on this C10. Um, I think I'm going to keep that black um, and add some few like black accessories just to kind of even it out. Um, but these tires, look, they look good. Uh, the rims are good. So before we go out and test them, I have these. Um, they're a little bit bigger, if you can see, and they're a little bit wider, if I can get a, set y'all down, get a good, a so good, there's that, and then, so that little gap, it's not a crazy amount, I kind of move them over, it's kind of hard to get this in. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get it in in the camera, but um, in person you can kind of see it. But the um, the height on these tires are definitely uh, definitely a little bigger. I don't know the size of the BF Goodrich crawlers, um, but there it's quite a difference. Um, it does rub the fenders a little bit. Oh, batteries are done charging. It rubs the fenders a little bit, but even my truck rubs the fenders, especially when you're turning, mostly when you're turning, because it's widened. <clears throat> but, enough talk, um, we're going to go ahead and get on the course, um, and do some comparisons, uh, just to show uh, how much more grip they have. They have an amazing amount of grip. Um, compared to stock tires. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okie dokie. So I'm here out. I'm out here at the course. I've got the trucks here. Kind of in a little pose. pose. 
remotes. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little rock crawl. There's a few spots on this um, new course that I've got that are, can be a little slick at times that the um, Hyraxes have a lot more grip. Um, so I'm going to go over those. Those will be the main parts in the video. And I'm going to show you a few things that the Hyraxes can do that the C10, um, the BF Goodrich crawlers can't. Um, and then we're going to do the hill climb as always just to see how much faster it climbs. And then there is a hill climb. Y'all can see my face when I turn around. You can't see it. But there is a hill climb um, right here that the C10s and um, Jeep can't do except for the one with the Hyraxes. Um, yes, the Hyraxes do struggle on that a little bit, but that's it doesn't have any weight. The only upgrade on that truck is the Hyraxes. Um, but it does, for what this is right here, it does awesome. So um, I'll show that in the video and then show how the C10 does on it. So let's go ahead and get into the rock crawl. So, part one of the course that we have here, um, this is, literally, is just the entrance to the course. Um, it is a little slick here. Let's try and get up this without hitting the, get the bumper over it. So as you see, it's just grabbing. Um, I am kind of a one-man show today. I'm driving both trucks. Pull these pine tags on and going up. I'm gonna try and get the same line which is right here. I don't have a bumper, so it's a little easier. My truck's kind of sliding on over. See, I kind of don't have enough grip. There we go. On the good line. Get on up. See, I'm getting stuck here too. I think my axle is kind of getting hung up. Maybe. There we go. We have this spot right here. I can get y'all to see it. This, it's kind of like a, um, it go, it's pretty steep. And then it goes down into this, which the bumpers tend to rub. Got stuff falling out of trees. It's probably not safe. <laughs> um, so the black C10 first. My brother does want to leave the bumper on it. Um, which we're going to put some better shocks on it so it doesn't rub as much. So the main part is this rock right here. If I can move y'all. Uh, larger cobble type rock. It can be pretty slick at times. That bumper is kind of getting in the way. Also, it does have stock steering, steering servo. So the turning isn't the best on this. I'm turning right and it's going straight. That's me turning. So it is kind of hard. I think he's got a servo on the way though. And we get on over. And then um, get on out the way. So next is the C10. Crawl on over here. I do have an upgraded servo. So I don't have as much a problem as turning around. But I do have a problem with grip. So that area is not really testing grip. So I'm going to go on to another part, kind of an incline in some rocks, and show y'all. Now this is a big spot on the um, course that we have a problem with. Um, so right here, it's at an angle, and you're going this way. Um, and my truck, the blue one, tends to slide down this when I'm trying to drive over it. So I'm going to get these trucks positioned, see if we see it. Don't want to flip over. It does tend to flip over in this area too. So no sliding at all. 
Now I think I'm caught on my belly now. So that's not tire's fault or anything. So as y'all see, we got over that pretty smoothly. See how much grip we have compared. See, I'm, as I'm going, I'm kind of sliding down. And then again, got my belly caught on it. I have to drive the C10 out the way. A little too jumpy. My controls are backwards. Um, the motor got messed up, so the controls are now backwards. So that's why I'm a little jumpy on the controls. So we are here at the last obstacle we're gonna do with these trucks. Um, so it's this hill climb right here. It's this whole area. So I've got the camera set up and the C10s over here. First we're gonna do the black C10. So immediately, kind of getting up there. This area is kind of dug out. These things are just digging some trenches. So I almost got it up right there. Boom, got on up. If you can see that, kind of move the camera some. Got up, so I'm gonna move the truck over and send the blue C10 on up it with the stock tires. So that's full throttle, and it's just spinning and flipping. Flip over again. Try and work our way. No, we just don't have enough grip to work our way over. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna make it. So, um, this is where the blue C10 is. And the black C10 is up there, because the black C10 has made it. Um, so the, the blue C10 made it up here. About right there, the black C10 made it up there so in that video i hope y'all could see the difference in the um the uh the, the tires now mind you um the high raxes we haven't taken the foams out and so they're they still have the foams in them um but they're they're just all around a great tire if i can get a good position um, so these tires are very grippy, like I said, just touching them, um, rubbing your finger on them compared to the C10, they just, it's a crazy amount of grip. Um, I think, personally, that should be the first upgrade you do no matter what. Um, which I didn't go that route, obviously, I still have stock tires on it. Um, but definitely, these are, these are definitely worth the money um, so if you're looking at it and you're kind of on the edge of should I get these should I not get these um, go ahead and get them you'll like them um, these are the first upgraded tire like I said that we've had here so I don't know of any um, other tires that are good I've heard the Patagonias are good um, I looked at getting those I may or may not get them still, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the um, high rexes because they come with rims, so I wouldn't have to wait to put rims on it before I can use them. Um, but other than that, enough talk. Um, get on up here out of the creek bed. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and ring that notification bell. Um, Comment down below if you like my content, what you like about it, and some things that I can do, um, just some video ideas that I can do, and um, also comment down below some of the parts or tires that y'all have had experience with and that y'all like. Um, 
just because I'm newer to um, upgrades so definitely would like some help with them but other than that thank you for watching and I guess I'll see y'all later